Terry Davis and I made Temple OS. I'm going to cover how you um, set up a QEMU installation that is just like mine. So first you go to uh, the templeos.org website and um, you can download some of the QEMU uh, Bash Linux uh, scripts. So um, let's get install, um, save, Let's get um, standard new, save. Let's get U QEMU Core 8, save. Um, the other ones are for, uh, you, you can get those and play with them. Those are for copying files in and out of a, uh, of a uh, mounted um, partition um, that QEMU makes a, a virtual hard disk for the guest operating system and sometimes you want to copy files in and out and so you mount the, the disk. Anyway, we're going to get the, uh, the downloads, uh, the standard disk, we're going to down, get the standard distro at 17 meg. We're going to, uh, let's, that's in the downloads page. Now we're going to go to the app store and we're going to get, um, Supplemental one. This is a this is some supplemental code that I have on my distro. This is a this is the Temple OS website. We're gonna get that. Then here's some uh, Project Gutenberg public domain um, ebooks. There's we use these for uh, for random um, passages from God when we're when we're doing a blog. We're gonna get ebooks one, ebooks two. So um, now we're going to go, let's go look at the downloads directory. So there we have, uh, this is the standard distribution, 17 meg. We have the supplemental, 8 meg. This is the Temple OS website, 1, 2 meg, the, the two ebooks. And then here's some scripts that we're going to do. Um, so uh, first of all, let's bring up a terminal, change to slash or down downloads ls minus l okay i'm going to go ahead and change change mod 777 star okay ls okay so um let's look at uh emu install i've already done this okay it uh it it app gets qemu virtual uh, the KVM version. Um, you don't want to do emulation. You have to do the KVM. This creates a copy on write uh, file for for the for the guest virtual disk. This uh, changes it. This uh, this makes a mount point so that when you start mounting the um, the disk, you want it. Um, you have to have a mount point for it so that the in and out will um, will. If you download those scripts and look at them, be very careful. Look, look before you run them. Anyway, so uh, now we're gonna do the uh, we're gonna do this. Let's let's go ahead and cat emu standard uh, new. This is what you um, when you have a new install, you start with this. Um, it, uh, it it invokes qemu kernel kvm. It uh, it's set for one core and 2048 uh, meg, and it's set to, to look, oh, we, we want to modify that. So let's go ahead and do VI um, uh, EMU standard new. So um, we have to change the, uh, the uh, CD-ROM to the downloads directory. So... Um, Okay, so uh, insert Okay, so we got we have it set to the downloads directory Okay, so we say dot slash emu standard new Okay, 
So uh, install on the hard drive, yes. Are you installing inside VMware QMU VirtualBox? Yes. It's normal for this to freeze, so we're going to press press a key. So right now it's copying the 17 meg onto this onto the C partition and onto the D partition. Um, your C is your primary master, and your D is a backup. You do all your um, you you only mount the D f um, to interact with Linux because it's uh, it can get corrupted. Um, if you use the in and out scripts, it's pretty safe. It won't get corrupted. Um, basically, uh, I only do a, um, a half-ass FAT32 support in VM in uh, in my operating system. So if uh, if you use short names, then it, it it's corrupted. Anyway, it's it's not usually a problem. It, just um, don't start renaming and and stuff like that in um, when you have it mounted virtually. It's a good idea to, to do all your interactions with the D partition, not the C partition. And then um, once we uh, once we get my uh, 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 um, okay, we're going to go ahead and shut this down. And um, so the 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 standard new is for the first time. And then from then on, you do either core EMU one core, eight cores, or sixty or sixteen cores. Let's go ahead and um, let's. Let's cat EMU eight core. So this doesn't mount a CD, and it um, this one is for eight cores, and it's uh, it's got four hundred nine six meg. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, dot slash EMU eight core. Okay, so we want to uh, we want to boot the C partition. That's weird. What the fuck? I don't know what that was. C partition. That's that's never done that before. Anyway, I just started it over. Oh well, I don't know. So um, the first thing we're going to do is erase the uh, the the old the the standard home home directory files, and we're going to replace them with. Uh, with my home directory files, in the demo account example directory is a uh, is a copy of my home home directory files. So uh, okay, we go. No, we don't want to take the tour. Alt M to maximize. Alt Shift A to get rid of the autocomplete. Delete home. Delete slash home. Home slash star. Copy. Okay, if you do Control D, oops, Control D. Um, in the demo, there's an account example directory. I just want to show you that it has my files. So we're going to say copy um, slash demo account example um, slash star comma slash home. Okay, now let, let's reboot in order to make those files take effect. C drive. Okay, Control M. This will compile with the new um, um, options for the kernel, and then boot. Make C compiles everything. Boot um, starts it up. Alt M. Okay. Now, if you, if you do Control Alt uh, Control Alt One, no Control Alt Two brings you to the monitor. This is where we you say uh, info um, block and this tells you what the CD-ROM name is. So uh, so we say uh, eject. I'm just going to do this out of habit. I you know it's not we don't need to eject it eject it but okay eject and then you say change um, IDE1 CD0 and then we say you have to do the full you have to do the full path. You can't do tilde. And we want to say downloads. And then we're we're going to start with uh, okay. Look, there's supplemental one. We're going to start with temple OS sup one. I had a type. I had a typo. 
Okay, Control Alt Two, Control Alt One returns you back to this. Change disk T. Copy. Okay, if you do a directory, you can see the files. Okay, copy tree T colon root to your C drive home, and we're going to create supplemental supplemental one. Now, as it turns out, um, the change disk seems to be broken when you run it in QEMU. Um, I'll show you in a second here. If we go Control Alt Two, and then we go up, up, eject, and this my change disk. Okay, now we're going to set this to web. Okay, Control Alt One. There's this the change disk is supposed to work, but it doesn't work. It freezes. I don't know why it freezes. Anyway, uh, so what we do is Control Alt C, and we go Control M, boot. Okay, we just rebooted change disk T, copy tree T colon slash C colon slash web. Okay, Control M, boot. And then we go control control alt 2 eject let's change this to uh, books books 1 control alt 1 and we say change disk t copy tree t colon slash comma c colon slash home books one these are the uh, public domain ebooks that, that we, we do a random um, bible or random pick to um, as an oracle and we get a random passage anyway so uh okay control m Reboot, Control Alt Two, Eject, Books Two, Control Alt One, Change Disk T, and we do uh, Copy Tree T colon Root to C colon Home. Books too. Okay, so hey, where's the web? We didn't get web. I don't see web. I must have screwed up. Maybe I just spaced out. Okay. Okay, um, so we're going to reboot, and now we do uh, Control Alt Two. I, I, I must. What did I do? Web. Okay, Control Alt One. Change disk T. Copy tree T colon slash um, C colon slash home web I don't know what I did I'll have to look at the video okay control M boot okay so now we have all the files now um, let me just go control M um, control M let's just go over what we have um, this will uh, um, you can mer after you 
you can copy the C drive to the D drive right here. Let's just try that. C, copy C to D. Okay, um, there's Regen does this and a lot more. Okay, so we just copied C to D. We just reformatted and now we're copying. Um, Regen does a lot more than this. Regen um, um, makes a, um, an image of the website and it makes HTML versions of all the files. And uh, anyway, so uh, um, this is how you, you copy C to D. Um, the, the disk um, is really slow in QEMU compared to VMware. It's like five times slower. The good news is VM or QEMU has uh, has a, um, a lot better sound than VMware. VMware sound is no good. So anyway, um, on this distro are um, are are my uh, my Salma D hymns, and um, so if you want to play those, I'm going to turn down the volume, and uh, um, we could be so it's it's doing a copy. So, um, Shakespeare, it's, I think it's about six, 65 meg when it's all together. Anyway, um, Bible. So, uh, It just recompiled the kernel. Okay, let's reboot. I don't know. That's what I like to do. So, um, so what what you do? You blog, and then let's say you want a uh, a random. Um, let's say you get a random number from from NIST. So then you might say, um, well, let's just say hot bits, um, eight hex digits. Um, Let's go to the Hot Bits website, and th these are just some random numbers. Um, FB. So we're gonna we're gonna pick a uh, a random book pick. FB eight B O two four A. I don't know how to use a clipboard um, between the Linux in here. So it just did a random book pick. Mine till it's pointed day and hour it should come in order that I might turn away my attention to the circumstances. This Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur's Court. Anyway, so we just if we're if you're blogging and you want a random oracle, you can use that. Um, it, right now we haven't re yet we haven't generated the website on the D, D disk yet, so uh, that's the next step. So what we do is we want to run this regen. Um, you can. Um, you can play around with, uh, you can explore these. If you hit Control T, then you can see what the uh, mac, what the what the macros do. And uh, anyway, so um, let's. I'll, I'm gonna leave it. Um, I'm gonna do a regen. So um, this is gonna copy everything. And um, anyway, so uh, uh, we'll, we'll just let it run. Anyway, so. Um, that's how you set up just like mine. I, I have a couple, there's only a couple minor differences between what this is and what my actual install is. I just have my personal budget files and stuff. Anyway.